Hey guys, what's up? It's Otis with uh, Maxbox Packs, and as you can see in front of you right here, these are the new prints for the FI-8170, the feeder arm fix. I'm calling it a feeder arm. I don't know what the technical term is, but it's what basically goes into this chassis in this part right here. And so uh, these are fresh prints uh, of the part, and uh, these are going to be shipped out starting, uh, well, you can order them starting today, uh, and they will ship out on Monday, okay? Uh, if you want to order them, let me just get to that real quickly. If you want to do that, let me show you the screen. Here's the screen right here. This is our website. And you can basically go to, this is the new link I've put. If you click the arrow down, you'll find questions and answers to different things that we're going over. And this is obviously the beginning. There's going to be more articles and more uh, questions and answers coming in. But um, like, for example, the scanning supplies, you can find out where, what I get from my scanner stand. All these things are from Amazon, things like that. Um, but anyway, so getting to this part, these are the 3D parts and files right here. If you're going to download, this is for the 8170 feeder arm. This is version one posted today. If you want to buy it, you can click the click here and it'll go to our thing. It's $1 and you end up with this piece and that pin. Uh, and then there's a couple of pictures to show you what it looks like once you put it in, which we're going to show you in the video how to do. Um, and again, there's a link here on if you want to watch the video, which I already did this video, but forgot to turn the microphone on. So I'm having to redo it. So sorry. Uh, so that link is going to be replaced here. And then here you can go back to if you just want to print it yourself. So if you have a 3D printer or you have a shop where you're going to have it printed, um, you can click and download the file here. And again, there's a link to the video on how to install it. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put this out of the way. I'm going to show you how to do it here on this one. Uh, I've got one in my machine right now. And this was actually the one I did on the demo for the video. Uh, so I'm just going to remove this and start all over. Okay, so bear with me a second. All right, let me pull that out. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get rid of this, okay, and I'm going to take a pin. You're going to need one of these, and I'll use a white background for this. So you will need one of these. And let me change the screen because I forgot. There we go. Okay, so there's the part. I'll pull a fresh one off of the, off the tray here, so let me clean that up. All right, here's the part right here. And here is the pin that you'll need. And you'll also need to keep your spring from one of the old parts, one of these old arms that you've removed, right? So you're not gonna throw these out or anything, but just any one of these. So um, whether it's this arm here or the other one, make sure you keep the spring because you're gonna use it here. All right, so, uh, so I can make this a little bit easier. Let me zoom in, show you what's gonna happen here. Hopefully I can make this work. I'm gonna look on that screen because that's where the monitor is. Okay, so a couple things I wanna point out right off the bat. Um, you have this hole that you can see is right here. It's maybe a little hard to see, but there's a hole. Let me see if I can lift that up. It's right there. And that is the hole that this needle is gonna go through. So I'll show you uh, some, should go just like that. And that's gonna be your hinge and pivot point for this piece, okay? Uh, the next thing I wanna point out to you is this right here. This is the little hook where the spring is going to go. Um, so let me show you what I'm talking about here. On the spring, there are two ends. There's an end that looks like, a, a, I guess, a J or an upside down J. It looks like that. And there's another end that looks like an L, which looks like that. This part, the J part, or however you want to call it, is going to go onto the printing piece. So let me just show you how this goes. Right here is where this slides over. Okay. And then you will basically roll it forward. And this arm right here is gonna go underneath the printed part. So just make sure that it goes like this, okay? If you've got it like this and that's sitting in there, then it will look like this, where that J piece or hook piece is gonna sit inside, just like that. Let me try and make sure I can show you with that while it, while it focuses, there you go. And this arm piece right here is gonna be going below. I have not cleaned this piece up yet, I'm sorry. I should have cleaned it before I did the video, but I'm really, wanting to get this out of here in time. So um, I apologize, but I cannot, I do not like things looking like that. So anyways, just forgive me for that. It obviously will be cleaned when we move them. But anyways, so this is how it's gonna go, right? And so then you have your piece here. I'll keep this white background so that we can see. Okay, so on this piece here, let me tell you what we're gonna focus on. These two holes, okay? That's where the needle is gonna go through to hold your part in place. And this hole up here, if you look on the other side, it's right here, okay? This hole is where the other part of the spring is gonna go through. So let me kind of show you what that's gonna look like. I'm sorry if this goes out of focus. What you're gonna do is you're basically gonna take, keep your thumb on this part so that the spring doesn't fly off. And you're gonna have that little uh, excess right there. 
and you're just gonna put it through that hole right there. Okay, just like that into that hole. And I'll show you once I move my fingers out of the way, you'll see what I'm talking about. And I don't have to put the pin in yet. But your spring is gonna go in here. Okay, in this top hole right there, that hole right there, okay? Then you're gonna hold the part in place and get your needle and you're gonna feed the needle through that hole, through the printed part. Now I usually wear magnifying goggles or glasses for this because I can't see with the junk and I may have to stop to do that here. Matter of fact, I'm going to because my sight's not that great. Let me put these on my, my Magoo glasses. Oh my God, but whatever. I'm old and I can't see with this. All right, okay, there we go. Now let me just see where I'm at. I'm gonna feed this through and be patient because you have to feed it right through the center of the printed part. There you go, right there, okay? Once you do that, uh, I could bring this up a little bit to show you. So you can see where the spring goes in here and you can see where the back of the spring is now pressed into the 3D print right there, okay? That right there all right and so what you have next is look it's perfect okay um, and so what I'll do is I will I can take this off now and there's one more thing I need to show you please before you get started with this let me let me show you so what I'm gonna do is this is pretty pretty long here so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna trim actually I'm gonna do it like this I'm gonna cut a portion of that excess off okay like that so there's the excess right there. And then I just take a pair of needle nose or pliers or whatever, and I just turn it 90 degrees, just like that. Okay, that's not gonna come out. It's not gonna hit anything, so don't worry about that, all right? Um, but if you wanna shorten it, you can. Uh, so anyways, this is what you end up with. And as you can see, when we hit this, the it's bouncing back and forth like it should. There's no hesitation. There, it's not hanging on anything. Um, and, uh, and so that's pretty much it. Let's put that in. What I'm going to do now is I'll go ahead and let me throw this sharp piece of the needle out. And then I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to go and I'm going to replace this in my uh, scanner so that you can see me print. And then I'm going to also load up the scanner software. So let me put paper stream up and I'll share the screen there. Uh, so let me put the left monitor right there. You should see it now. All right. Give me a second. I'm going to open the scanner up and just remove this one. Okay, so there's the other one that I use, which here, I'll show you real quickly. This is the other one that I use, okay? Right, been using that. And so I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna put the blue one in so I can show you guys real life, you know, like it, it working, okay? So here goes, let me put this in real quick. Okay, and then I'm gonna scan the same set of cards right here. Uh, that I've been scanning. Uh, so let me get these ready. Um, and let me bring them in the feeder. Okay, I'm gonna click scan. And scan. And you're not gonna see them scan, you'll just see them pop up on the screen. Okay. And that's the last one right there. All right, so let me just tell it to rename. Click OK, and then now that you've seen them scan, I'll go ahead and show you the cards. Uh, so let's just make that happen. I'll just grab a couple here. Uh, so we've got Zach Wilson here, and you can see this card. It's been fed, and there is no indentation on these cards. Okay, it's a good example right there. Uh, let's, we can take, uh, this is Alshon Jeffrey. And again, you can look and see we have no indentations on these cards. Okay, uh, let me keep going here. I mean, here for you. I've got so many. These cards are old too. These cards are getting beat up because they've been run so many times. So you can see. All right. So we're good. So anyways, so there you go. I wanted you guys to see the uh, real time and I think it's time to get rid of these cards. They have been used and abused. But anyways, so there you go guys. So that's how you do it. This is how it should look when you're done. All right. So just let me know if you have any questions. If not, everything's live and ready to be purchased or downloaded from the site. Guys, have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.